There's one new feature in Layout 2023 that opens up a flood of productivity, or could open up a little more productivity, maybe if it works. In this video, I'm gonna review Layout 2023 from my perspective, that of a residential designer who uses SketchUp Pro for every phase of the design process, even construction documents. Let's raise our glasses to three new features in Layout 2023 and stick with me to the end because I'm saving the best for last or the definitely decent for the end. This is gonna be disappointing. Sequence Auto Text was introduced in Layout 2022 and it fell flat because it only counted across pages. Not anymore. Layout's Auto Text settings can be found in the Document Setup dialog. Layout 2023 allows you to designate a sequence as per document, the previous default, or per page, the new behavior. This opens up the ability to sequence tags, notes, and drawing numbers without creating a new sequence for each page in your drawing set. While on one hand, it took two years to get a feature of a feature right, on the other hand, sequence auto text is finally complete and definitely usable. I'll drink to that. I baked this new per page functionality into all of the tags and drawing titles in the Condoc scrapbooks. Have you checked out my Condoc tools extension? It allows you to assign multiple SketchUp tags to one object, automates the connection between SketchUp and layout, and includes the libraries and templates you need to create professional drawings today. Moving on, it's now possible to define a custom rotation start angle. While hovering over the rotation handle for a selection, hold shift and then drag the rotation start handle to a custom orientation. Upon release, this is now the starting zero degree point for rotation. Some might say this should have been built in from day one, but hey, better late than never. Cheers. Now to the most impressive new feature. Layout 2023 allows you to manage inserted DWG files as references, similar to the way image and SketchUp files are handled. Check this out. Click on the file dropdown and choose insert. Select a DWG, just like you've done in previous versions of layout. While the DWG is selected, you can specify an architectural scale in the scale drawings inspector. Here's something new. You can now apply a clipping mask by drawing a shape on top of the DWG, then select both, right click and choose create clipping mask. That's handy. Now here's where things get interesting. Right click on the DWG and choose open with external editor. This opens the DWG in your default CAD program. I can make edits to the detailed drawing, save and see the results instantly in layout. Absolutely amazing. You can assign line weights directly to a line or to layers in CAD, and they will translate to layout. I created a very simple palette with seven line weight layers, varying from extra fine to extra wide. There's a link in the description to download the palette and this example detail. I can now work in CAD and use match properties to assign line weights and line types, and also freeze and isolate layers to expedite drafting. So I'm gonna ditch the layout drawing tools for this snappy new CAD workflow. Hold up. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let me explain some limitations. Party's over. CAD text, leaders, and dimensions do come through, but the arrows don't. And the formatting and scales are completely jacked, so any annotating in CAD is off the table. Unfortunately, pattern hatches don't come through at all, although you can explode the pattern hatch to get it into layout, which is annoying, but something I can work around. Most line types don't come through, so no utilities or bad insulation line types translate, only the ones that have a matching counterpart in layout, at least as far as I can tell. Now here's a real buzzkill. You would think with a reference, it shouldn't be a problem to move or rename the DWG file and then relink. No big deal, right? Wrong. On reload, my scale is busted and all annotations blow up. My first instinct was to reassign the scale, hoping all would come back to good. This is not the case. Ultimately, I don't do a ton of 2D drafting in layout. Most of my drawings originate from SketchUp. Check out this super detailed garage model I created using the Medik engineering extensions. With just a few clicks, you can add framing, insulation, sheathing, and siding, drop in windows and doors, and even roof trusses. It's really impressive. I can slice it using the Condoc section tool, then send to layout as a scaled architectural drawing. Now drag and drop into a title block, then right click and choose explode. This turns the viewport into a scaled drawing. Now I have full control over all line weights and hatches. I can use the layout annotation tools to finish it off. So do I even need to draft in CAD? For the most part, layout scale drawing feature serves my drafting needs. So if not a drafting alternative, what are the other use cases for a DWG reference? Maybe CAD backgrounds, but in my experience, any CAD sent my way is not set up with line weights assigned to layers. They have pen settings that translate colors to line weights. So it's unlikely that consultant drawings will be properly represented in layout. Maybe DWGs could be used as a block type object in layout, but then you're still up against the relinking issue. So here 
here's a few questions for you. Is a DWG reference of any value if it can't be relinked? Is this new reference actually any better than just inserting a DWG? Would you encourage Trimble to pursue a better CAD linkage that addresses annotations, line types, and hatches? Or improve the drafting experience in layout? I prefer the latter. Let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe there's a use case I'm missing. I'm trying to look on the bright side here and raise my glass to some steps forward, but I can't help but feel frustrated by this new release. If you're feeling that too, grab some marshmallows and check out my SketchUp 2023 review. This video is a red hot roast. Check out our brand new Conduct tagging system in this video. Multiple SketchUp tags assigned to one entity. It's a game changer. I'll see you in there. Maybe this release isn't that bad.